Welcome to Pastor's Chat today. Well, before we uh, talk about Psalm 9 today, I'm sitting in a different location, as you can tell. I'm not in my regular office back up, back down in uh, Sneeds Ferry, North Carolina. I'm here in Roanoke, Virginia. Yesterday, we had an emergency call from Kimberly. Uh, little Luke, our preemie, uh, had stopped breathing. They were actually at the doctor's office for a checkup his first day home, and uh, there he stopped breathing. So they had to rush him to the hospital in an ambulance, and uh, so he's back in the NIC unit. And so we uh, immediately got things together, jumped in the car, and drove up here to Roanoke and uh, went to the hospital late last night, had a visit with uh, little Luke, and appears to be, he appears to be doing fairly well at this moment. They're trying to check out to find out what caused the uh, breathing to stop. So you continue to pray for Luke, pray for Kimberly, Chris, uh, pray for our family uh, during this time, and I'm sure the Lord's gonna take care of him. He's taken care of him thus far. And matter of fact, just hundreds, hundreds, thousands of people, I'm sure, have prayed and have spread the word to pray, and we know God answers prayer. So thank Thank you so much. So I know it took a couple minutes to do that, but that's why I'm in a different setting and I'm doing my best to put together a pastor's chat for today, this beautiful Friday that we have here in Roanoke. Now, let me uh, remind you in Psalm 9, uh, David is the writer of this song, as we know from the title. Uh, David is dealing with both personal enemies and he's dealing with national enemies. Uh, this is a song of joyful praise. He says in verse 1, I will pray Praise you, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will tell of all your marvelous works. And then he also continues to say, Sing praises to the Lord who dwells in Zion. Declare his deeds among the people. And so the first part of the psalm, as you read through it, is dealing with these personal enemies that have come after him. And then secondly, he's dealing with national enemies. And so I want to read because we're going to try to read the whole psalm as we go through them. And he says in verse, we read through verse 10 yesterday, and starting in verse 11. Sing praises to the Lord who dwells in Zion. Declare his deeds among the people. When he avenges blood, he remembers them. He does not forget the cry of the humble. Have mercy on me, O Lord. Consider my trouble from those who hate me, you who lift me up from the gates of death, that I may tell of all your praise in the gates of the daughter of Zion. I will rejoice in your salvation. The nations have sunk down in the pit that they made, in the, net, in the net which they hid, their foot is caught. The Lord is known by the judgment that he executes. The wicked is snared by the work of his own hands. Meditation, Selah. The wicked shall be turned into hell, and all the nations that forget God. For the needy shall not always be forgotten. The expectation of the poor shall not perish forever. Arise, O Lord, let not man prevail. Let the nations be judged in your sight. Put them in fear, O Lord, that the nations may know themselves to be but men. Selah. So you see the word nations show up several times in this last half of the chapter. And David is asking for God's judgment on the nations. And if they forget God, God will take care of them. God will protect his people if they put him first and they seek his face and live for him as they should. America is a nation that's in terrible trouble at this point, but I'm, I'm convinced if God's people who are called by His name will pray, seek His face, turn from their wicked ways, humble themselves, I'm convinced if we confess our sins, He will come and forgive us and heal our land. God can do it still today, but we must pray. We must seek His face, and I encourage you to do that. And here's where our hope is. Verse 10. And this is one of my favorite verses in the book of Psalms. And they that know his name will put their trust in him. For you, O Lord, do not forsake those who seek you. Now there's our promise. There's our hope. We know his name. His name is Elohim. His name is El Roi, El Elyon, El Olam, the everlasting God. He is Jehovah. He is Jehovah Jireh, the Lord who provide. And my friend, his name, some 700 names of God in the Bible. And when we know his name that represent his character and represent his attributes, my friend, you can put your trust in him. And when you trust in him, guess what? I'm telling you, you'll seek him and you will not be forsaken. 
God will help you. And I trust you'll turn to him today and let him be your guide, be your shield, be your strength, and be your all in all. God bless, and you have a wonderful, wonderful day.